I'm now going to set the eye I hooks also on I these put three another pieces cloth on top which are because pretty I don't much want finished. dust that I'm not anticipating. One of the things I found out if you make this, this too piece, tight, I've actually put the hole at an angle because I don't actually want to have them the other side. So brass hook and break up. off inside. Yeah, actually That's the angles are good. good. That's something I have to watch out. So I'm going to just open this up through a little way. bit. And also check the depth. Open it up a bit. I want just enough tension so that it's a tight fit, Let me see if it's ready. but not so tight that the eye hook is going to break off. I'll do the same with the dragon. It's got some good resistance, but not so much. Alright, that's looking really good. So now that I've made sure it's going to fit, I'm going to put my drop of glue very carefully right there in the hole. Since the screw is going, the eye hook is going to displace the glue. I want to go easy on it. Don't put too much. Okay, there we go. But here are the pieces. I have a variety of colors. Here's the black. Probably do that one in black. And then I may use this rust color on one of them. Here. I'm now in the final stage with these three pieces. Um, I have to string them on the cord, which is a, a round poly cord, very strong, and I use this to make my double bead closure that I showed you in another video. So I'm going to string the bead on here, pass it through the eye hook, and we're going to leave a pretty good amount of length because I want it to pass through this bead a second time without coming out the other side, but being really close. So I've got it just so it's almost protruding, but not quite. And that'll be ideal. So I'm going to secure that inside. I've now prepared both sides of this, and I'm going to take my double beads. This is going to go through both beads on both sides. this will do is make sure that it can pass over the head and there we go
with this double closure. You don't ever have to worry about your necklace depending on some little spring ring or piece of metal breaking. This isn't going to go anywhere. So you simply open it up like that, put it over your head, you pull the knots to the, the desired length, and then you make your adjustments. You might want it to be like a choker, or you might want it longer like that. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned. I am Jungle Pixie Louise.